Hello and welcome to the channel, welcome to Ski Free, welcome to 1991, welcome to having a beige computer tower with a floppy disk drive, inserting a floppy disk and installing into Microsoft Windows 3.11, the Microsoft Entertainment Pack 3, which included Ski Free, Tetravex, Tripeaks, WordZap. But wait, there's more because in 1994, BoApp came out. The best of Windows Entertainment Pack, which included Tetris, Freecell, Pipe Dream, Chips Challenge, Taipei, Life Genesis, Minesweeper, Minesweeper. That's that's how old Minesweeper actually is. Some of these games are still installed on Windows. This one is not. So Chris Pira, P I R I H, uh, apparently was developing this independently for a VT100 terminal and. The story goes, a, 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 a manager, a manager was like peeking over his shoulder and went, we need that on our Microsoft Entertainment Pack. And he's like, uh, okay, cool. So what do we have? Well, it's a little scare, little scare, man. And that little, that little sprite is everything you got. You use the curse keys or you use the number keys or you can use the mouse. You can left click to jump and that's kind of it. With the cursey keys, you can actually go up hill a little bit so in the top right hand side we've got time we've got distance we've got speed and we've got style f2 puts us right back at the beginning f3 is pause but why would you want to pause it it's kind of a short game and once you were done skiing down the side of the mountain well you're gonna kind of get chomped down like an old twix by a mountain man or more accurately a yeti i think he's a yeti rather than a troll i'm not entirely sure i'd never been sure we just know that monster comes for you and he just munches you down. What about sound? There ain't no sound. I might put some music on, I might not. Dunno. So we got three options. We got slalom, we got freestyle, and we got tree slalom. I'm gonna do a little free uh, freestyle. So, uh, let's stop a second. What we got here? So, insert. Boop, 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 boop. Let's jump. Okay, fine. So we just do a little freestyle. Jump. Yay. Okay, cool. Souls coming back. So we get style points, we've got two style points at the moment. I believe uh, if we hit something we get bonked, and, but we can jump off rocks if we hit the rock and then jump at the same time. So we got a little bonk, oh I turn around. But we got 40 style points, so that's kind of neat. Do a little jump. Ooh, super jump. Yeah, none of those things I think are moguls. They're a collection of moguls and if you hit them, ah, uh, you get Biff, this is kind of harder than I remember it. Let's do a jump over that. There are skiers on the slopes as well. Some of them, I think the color of the skis denotes how... Ah, little dog. Oh, trees. They were not our friend. So yeah, the, the color of the skis denotes their ability. So we've got 72 points. That's not too bad. And then we hit the finish. Boom. 72, that's you. 74. Oh, right. No, I got even better than that. So now we are literally free. We are free and we can carry on skiing. And there are other skiers skiing around. This is fine, right? Absolutely fine. Wow, it's been a hot minute since I've used cursor keys to control a game. Like, hmm, since the 90s? I can't even remember what game that I would have used uh, the cursor keys on. Probably Wolfenstein 3D. So I ramp off a rock. Oh, the little, ah, yeah, the little moguls. All right. So we can find that little gremlin. He's not there. I know I know if you press bar, you can go slightly faster. Whoa, dog. Scoot down scooty down the mountain. Yeah. Interesting. I'm not seeing the dude. There he is! Uh he's gonna munch us. He did. I think you go an entire screen down, so like the entire distance that you would normally go down, but yeah, you can't get away from that dude. Or you can if you press F to go fast. Alright, let's try that again. So what do we get? 74 points. Alright, F2 to reset. Now I do happen to know, if we do freestyle once more, I happen to know something. Uh, let's do this. How do we do this? We need to get underneath. So yeah, when you're underneath one of the, uh, let's go here. When you're underneath one of the ski lifts, uh-huh, check out our style points, 144. Mm, oh, 400, 500, 
Let's, let's go faster. 900. Ooh, I'm pushing that button. People say... Uh, how you go button mashing? Oh, it's games like this. We got 1,400 points just from being underneath the ski, list. I, uh, ski lift. I don't actually know what the mechanics are. Oh, that tree is moving as well. Those trees, those trees are walking around. They got little eggs on them. That was something you saw in, in games like uh, Jimmy White's Whirlwind Snooker. Let's go super fast and see if we can actually do this. Super fast. So pit F and now we're going speedy. I'm just going to get down to the bottom. Yeah. I think we can just go down. Actually, I'm not entirely sure if... Oh, let's do a slalom next time. I'm not entirely sure if... This is like randomly generated, all these little trees and things. Possibly. 1433. Oh, yeah. Boop. I did a lot of click there. Excellent. So yeah, no... Whoa, we jumped forever. I'm going to be able to slam. Um, do we wait for the... Do we wait for him to come for us? Yeah, I'm, I'm all up for that. Let's carry on down the mountain, see if we can ski away from the uh, from the Yeti. I'm not entirely sure. Dog, don't get in my way. I'm skiing free from a monster. There he is. Oh, I hit a tree. Immediately hit a tree and get monched. Oh, all right, let's uh, go back. So 1400. That was pretty decent. Um. All right, let's try the slalom. The other controls are mouse. So if you don't mind a mouse cursor on the screen. Uh, slalom is here. Okay. Boop. And then boop. Boop. So they do, the uh, the gates do turn green as you go through. I think, one is it left mouse button? Oh yeah, it is. Uh, Mr. Gate, it went red. Okay. Interesting. Ah, I haven't. I can't remember if you like how you get points for this. I can't even see the icons. They're so small. We would have been playing this on like a like 640 by 480 display, maybe an 800 by 600 display. And there you go. 49, 49 seconds. That's you. Hooray! All right, all right. Beat them up. See if we can outrun the little gremlin. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it this time. I'm using the curse keys. The mouse is fine, but I mean, it, back then it would have been a ball mouse, and you have to take the bottom off the bottom off the mouse, keep blowing into the thing to clean out the ball. Why did you blow on balls? Yeah, that's what you used to do, dude. For some reason, it used to like grab all of the dirt from your desk and just compact it against the wheels on the inside of the ball mouse. And then you would have this sort of black gunge that would get inside the uh, inside the inside the mouse. Unless you worked in an office or a school, in which case, oh, there he is. Uh, we are going fast. We could not outrun him. That was as fast as we can go. Oh no! All right, one more. Um, yeah, they used to super glue, super glue the bottoms of the mouses, mice's together, so you couldn't get the ball out. So if you're in a school or an office, sometimes you would be using a mouse and just be like, "Yeah, that's that 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 this mouse is rubbish. It just doesn't work." So then we had optical mice, and then we had laser optical mice. Yeah, it's great. We are living in the future. But the mouse is still the best thing. So we already got tree sal slalom. Oh, oh, me. Oh, it's slalom. It's a slalom, but there's trees here immediately, and I'm using the curse keys. This is this is agony on my wrists. How do we how do we survive? What? Uh, no, wrong wrong one. That way. How did we survive? Um. Well, like Wolfenstein came out. What the snowboarder? Wolfenstein came out, and then we had, uh, what did we have? Oh, Quake. Quake was the first, like, proper 3D first-person shooter. And that, you had to type in plus M look into the console to get mouse look. It was not there by default. And by default, you had the cursor keys. So, yeah. You would look around using the keyboard. I slammed into a tree. Oh. 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 
Oh, my dude is probably actually dead. If you slam into a tree, you're going to be very unwell. And if you are going skiing, remember to wear a helmet. Do not go skiing without a helmet. In fact, I would probably say wear an actual body armor, but that's just me. Cool. I just hit another tree. So the slalom with trees is actually pretty difficult. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Ah, through the gate. 1 minute 33. Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll do it. Right. Um, press. Mmm. Press F. Go fast. Gotta go fast. I wonder if we can... Ah, uh, that wasn't fast enough. I wonder if we can slam into... There we go. Speed up. I wonder if we can hit a ramp or something. If we jump, maybe we can avoid the, the Yeti. Hmm. Don't know. Oh, no. No. As soon as we see him. Okay. Uh, that's the... Okay, that's the button. Let's try to remember which the, which physical button is. No, he got us straight away. You can't, you can't get rid of... You cannot... You can't get away from him. He's a monster. One more. One more for the road. One more for the road. F2. Okay. Right. Right. And this is version 104. So this is from the official Ski Free homepage, which has been redesigned to use a 32-bit processor and work on 64-bit processors because they have fullback mode. All right. So home is home is actually stop and insert is jump. So it's cursor keys, home, insert, F2, F3, uh, F itself to go fast. Oh, there's, there's no like jumps or anything. There's a jump. One style point. And then I, what the did I just do? Sla did I just slam into nothing? Uh, I think I pressed the wrong button. Well, you're super rubbish at a game that came out so many years ago. Oh, my dude. This game came out before everyone even had internet. I mean, the internet was around. It came out in 1999. It was Earthlink. Um, later known as AOL that brought out... No, ni 1989. Did I say 1999? 1989 was Earthlink. Later rebranded as AOL. Oh, you can hit the ski lift. Interesting. Yeah, uh, we didn't get the internet at home until the 1990s. 19, 1999, yeah. Did I just slam into that? Negative 48. Mate, what are you talking about? Oh, I did probably kill this guy. He's probably just a pair of skis at this point. Like, we hit so many things. I'm a little bit rubbish at this. But then I'm using a keyboard that doesn't light up. It's not even RGB. This is like an old trust keyboard. <laughs> it's, a, it's as bad as 90s as you can get. Yeah, what else was happening at this time? Mm, well, 1991, uh, Sonic was born. Sonic the Hedgehog for the Mega Drive. Or if you're American, the Genesis. So that was fun. Sonic is, in fact, 32 years old uh, this year. As I record this. So, yeah, Sonic can not only buy you a beer, but also drive a tracked vehicle and hold a pilot's license. Uh, okay, where is this gremlin going to be? Speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. See if we can do it one one, one last time and see if we can actually get rid of this guy. Uh, oh, oh, you go vertically, he gets confused. <gasps> We're doing it. We're doing it, Peter. We did it! Oh, but he's definitely going to be behind us, isn't he? Uh, yeah! He doesn't give up. He will eat you. He, he will haunt your nightmares. He just he just won't stop. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there, because this is, this is about as much as we can do with this one. It was nice just to uh, have, a little, have a little peek back in the, uh, from the olden days. From days when games came on diskettes and... Uh, Windows, Windows 3.11. It didn't even have a registry. You just installed stuff and Windows had no idea what was installed. There wasn't an ad remove programs or anything. But yeah, if you like these videos, definitely leave a little like, leave a subscribe. And if you do subscribe, dingle the bingle. If you want notifications, if you don't want to no, 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 no. If you don't want notifications, don't click the bell and I'll tell you what, I'll catch you next time.